My dear friends, we woke this morning to find out that the American ambassador to Libya, along with three other people who worked in the embassy, uh, were murdered yesterday. We also woke to the fact that the Egyptian embassy was attacked yesterday. Apparently the damage at the Libyan embassy is quite significant in addition to the loss of lives. As a Jew and as a rabbi of Temple Emmanuel, I know I speak for our entire community and the entire Jewish community when I say that our hearts go out to the family of the ambassador and the other three who were so terribly murdered out of an act as an act of uh, incomprehensible hate and bigotry. You know, in our world we need to put certain things together. The first thing that we need to put together is that intolerance, when added to intolerance, leads to even greater intolerance, and in this case, to death. The person who made this video was an intolerant, hateful person. The people who reacted to this video did so out of their own intolerance and hate. And as a result, property was damaged, lives were lost, and people who, and, fa and families with people who loved those who lost their lives are now bereaved. So this is a very sad thing, and it's a very sad, sad day. And as for me, I think that what we really need to do is to renew and reinvigorate our efforts towards a constructive fight against bias, bigotry, racism, and intolerance wherever they are in the world. Because if we don't, this vicious cycle of one intolerant act leading to another, leading to another, will just continue. Certainly, one of the greatest intolerant acts in all of American history occurred on September 11, 2001. It is not an accident, in my opinion, that the events which occurred in Libya and in Egypt occurred on September 11. A part of me really does feel that the film, this ill-advised film, was simply an excuse to be used by people that were looking for a reason to demonstrate, even violently, on September 11th. It was their way of saying that they supported the attacks on the United States 11 years ago. I find this very sad, but I think as a nation we need to wake up and do so quickly. We seem to be so caught up in our partisan political divide, the divide between Republicans and Democrats that we are not awake, we're not sufficiently awake to the real threat that Iranian nuclearization uh, uh, gives to not only the state of Israel but to the United States and the f entire free world and the real threat that radical Islam presents to all who cherish tolerance, religious freedom, and peace in our world. Thank you.